some off a bit. Of course, you can experiment with the beans. Use just basic dark red kidney beans. These are the light red ones. You use black beans. You know, it's chili. This is very basic. You want to put other stuff in your chili? Go for it. Experiment, please. Nicely caramelized. Not completely. I love some undercooked pieces in there. That's just another dimension of absolutely goodness. Put them right on in there. Did you said? Turn that off. Right. I'm going to turn this back on. Turn this off. And bring this up here. Beans cooked. Give a quick taste. Mm. Good beef flavor, but it's chilly. So put a little more Cajun in there. Now this is just for my personal taste. You want to use different seasonings? Once again, go for it. Put a little more garlic in it. A little more seasoned salt. Not too much. Because I don't like salty food. And you know, put some fresh black pepper in there. Seasonings cook in. Now I add my beans. Beans, rinsed, well drained. Those go in. Stir them up. Beans heat up a little bit. And
paste it again. Don't say they had us do school. Scoop the clean spoon. Come away. Transfer to your spoon that actually goes into your mouth. Then eat it. And from here, you just gotta adjust the flavor, but for uh, all intents and purposes, you're done. That's it. It's quick chili. And uh, this pot of chili, once again, uh, I think I used, uh, what, about uh, three and a half, four pounds of ground beef, a can of beans, one onion, some seasoning, some water, and I think it cost me around, actually about seven bucks. Yeah, I believe that's about it. Seven dollars. Food for a weekend. Alright, see y'all later.